my name is Shoba, and I did like a claw robot, and I didn't actually have a na good name for it, so I'm not going to name it. It's going to go unnamed. Um, but yeah. Um, so I kind of had a couple different ideas. One was like, it was an um, arm mechanism. The other was I kind of wanted like a dustpan and like a sweeper, so it would like sweep into a dustpan and you could like put it into a bin. I thought that was like a super cute idea. And then I, and then my like third idea was like a walking robot. And um, like that had like arms, so it's kind of like a humanoidy thingy. Um, um, and so I had, um, I looked at this program or this robot, and it had like instructions online, and it was a simple program. But I was like, I wanted it to move a lot, like super a lot. I was like, that's gonna be super fun. So then I looked at this. This is like a Vex robot. Um, I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's like another sort of NXT. It's not. It's really similar to NXT, but not sort of really. But I thought that I would. Like, I'll just keep with NXT. So I kind of ditched that idea, and then I found this. Um, I did more research, and I found this, and it's kind of what I kind of based my program off of. Um, they had like exercises online, like make your robot do this, make your robot do that, and add a touch sensor, see what this will do. So I thought that would be like really good, so that I, I could add on to it later on. So some mechanical aspects, like there were some like super weird parts that were, weren't in like a normal. Um, box so I had to like search and scour this place for weird parts um, and then like what I wanted to make sure was that I wanted to have a really strong base so I followed the directions up until that point um, and yeah um, so like it uses like normal NXT commands like there's nothing like really special about this but um, it uses an ultrasonic sensor and a um, light sensor which you can sort of see here maybe not um, and it has like a couple different parts. It starts here, and it follows the white line all the way across. Um, when it gets here, it like senses this, um, and it stops. It clamps down on the ball, and it turns around and goes back. Um, it uses the light sensor to like follow the white line, like from here, and then after it turns around, it like follows the white line back. Um, and then it uses an ultrasonic sensor as well when it like when it's here and it like senses this part um, because it's in it's within like 20 centimeters of it um, and it couldn't sense the ball because the head is this is like too high up for the for it to sense the ball so I had to like add this part right here um, I made a lot of mistakes <laughs> um, the claw part is like too like forward heavy so it like kind of falls forward sometimes um, <coughs> I also like connected the motors wrong and like I plugged them into different output systems for like two hours like my robot wouldn't move so that was fun. I had like different ideas for the track. I wanted it to be like a sort of like infinite loop where I would like go on one track, pick up a ball, come back, put it here and then pick up another ball, put it there and then it would, it would be in such a way that it could continuously go. But I ended up just like doing this which was just like one track, pick up a ball and turn around. Um, and this took a long time and it kind of looks sketchy and kind of weird and you can see the tape everywhere and it's not that pretty but whatever man. Um, there were like problems like time like you had to like literally like you could not lose focus. Um, there are limited materials sometimes and then because it's a light sensor the light is always changing which is super frustrating when you're trying to program. Um, I wanted it to be able to like sense the ball so that it wouldn't like make mistakes like clamping down on it and would like clamp <coughs> here or clamp there or like miss the ball entirely. So this was like so the funny thing is, I like this was our basic NXT one, the one we were working on for like three weeks. I like took it apart like completely <coughs> it, and then it, it ended up like happening when I was looking at like building the um, building the beginning of this tribot that I literally did everything all over again. So I wasted like an hour, which was super sad and embarrassing, but yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I ended up like adding, so then the whole building process probably took about five hours or so, and that's my robot. He's super adorable, I think he is, but yeah. <laughs> um, and then, um, so yeah, that's it.
and it works now, so that makes me super happy and super proud. Like it totally works. So yeah, now I'm done. Now you guys can clap.